This short video will teach you about some changes to what you should do when a fire alarm sounds on your campus. The fire alarm is designed to sound if there is a fire and allow for everyone to get out of the building safely. We want you to know that all of your school's fire drills will be pre-announced. Your safety is our top priority and the new fire alarm procedures are designed to keep you safe in the event of a fire or in the event of an active threat on campus. The main things to remember about the new fire alarm plans are very simple. Anytime a fire alarm sounds, we want you to look, listen, and then take action. Everyone must take all fire alarms seriously. We want you to always pay attention to your surroundings and report suspicious people, cars, or situations. If you see something, we want you to say something to a responsible adult. Here's what you should do when a fire alarm sounds. Listen carefully for instructions from your school's safety team members, teacher, coach, or any adult in charge. If you are not in class, you should proceed to the nearest room where there is a responsible adult and follow their instructions. If you are not in class and you see or smell smoke or an actual fire, you should leave the building immediately and report to a teacher or responsible adult once you are safely outside. When an alarm sounds, there will be several things happening at the same time. They are all designed to keep you safe. First, your teachers will look out the window of the classroom to make sure it is safe for you to go into the hallway. Students, you will begin to move toward the door and remain inside the room until you are told to leave by your teacher. We will look and listen before opening a classroom door and again look up and down the hallway before exiting the classroom into the hall. If at any time a dangerous threat, other than a fire, is seen or announced, we will follow our active threat plan procedures. Leave your book bags and personal items in the room. They slow you down. Remain alert and be aware of your surroundings at all times. Walk quickly, but do not run unless there is an active threat or a fire. If you encounter heavy smoke or fire, look for another safe way out of the building. Call 911 to report your location and the location of the fire. If visibility is low, crawl on your knees and form a human chain and keep in physical contact with the person that's in front of you. Stay close to the wall until you can reach the nearest exit. Your teachers will look out the windows of doors leading to common areas, stairwells, and then outside to make sure it is safe to change hallways, to use the stairs, and if it is safe to go outside. After you go outside, you will go with your teacher to a staging area and stay there until told it is safe to re-enter the building. Here are some important things to remember about fire safety if there is a fire directly outside your room and it is preventing you from leaving. Do not open the door. If you are alone, call 911 to report your location and look for another way to get out of that room. You may place a wet towel or clothing under the door to help prevent smoke and flame from getting inside. If the room has a window opposite the fire, stand near that window for fresh air. Your teacher may even break the window if it becomes necessary. School safety is everyone's responsibility. We need your help to make sure our schools are safe places to learn and have fun. Remember, every fire alarm and fire drill must be taken seriously. Every time a fire alarm sounds, we want you to do exactly as we have discussed here. Follow your teacher's or other adult's directions. If you see something, say something. Thank you for your attention, and let's have a great year. I don't know about you, but I like school. I like learning, experiencing new things, and especially seeing my friends every day. And even though I sometimes think about something bad happening at school, it's really very rare for there to be an active threat on campus. If something does happen, we should know what to do to stay safe though. Do you have a plan? Would you know what to do if there was an active threat of violence at school? This is why we should all participate and take safety drills seriously. If possible, you should run far away from the threat as fast as you can, even if this means leaving campus. Follow a teacher or responsible adult whenever it's possible, but do not wait around. You can alert others and take them with you, but you shouldn't wait around if others refuse to go. Look for a safer place to hide completely out of sight of the threat. The best hiding place is one that can protect you from physical harm, like parked cars or buses near the motor or the wheel, concrete walls, other solid buildings, a large tree or a telephone pole. If you must run away, take any path or action that can get you to safety. Use any exit doors, emergency exits, or doors normally used by school staff. Break a window and escape through the window if it's safe to do so. When it's necessary to hide, look for the safest space in whatever room or location you're in. Look for a place that keeps you well hidden from doors and windows. And it's very important to be as quiet as you can. Noise can give away your location to an active threat. 
If you're stuck in a bathroom, stand on a toilet so they can't see your feet and crunch down so they don't know you're there. If you can't find a safe place to hide because there are too many windows in the room, you can use furniture, backpacks, and books to create a safer place to hide behind. Turn large tables and desks on their side and place backpacks and books in front of the tables. Get low and get quiet. If you can't run away, you can help your teacher and friends block the door of the room by pushing tables and chairs against the door. Use the heaviest and largest objects first. You should also cover the windows and close the blinds so nobody can see inside. Also, turn off all the lights and remember to be as quiet as you can. Pick up things that can be thrown at an intruder if once you get inside of your room. This could create a distraction, allowing you to run away. Get into the safest space within the room. Get low and stay away from doors and windows. Once police arrive, they will open your door and escort you to safety. If you see the police, show them your empty hands and always obey the instructions of arriving police. If you come across a weapon that was dropped by the attacker, do not handle or pick up the weapon. If your life is in immediate danger, you can use your phone to call 911. When it's safe to do so, and if you have a phone, you can text or call a responsible adult to let them know where you are. If you see something, say something. We can help keep our school safe by reporting any suspicious behavior to a school resource officer, safety guard, or another responsible adult. Schools are still the safest place to be, and active threats are very rare. We just need to be prepared in case anything like that happens at our school. You can survive an active threat. You do have options. Now is the time to think about what you would do. Talk about it with your teachers, your friends, and your parents. The only wrong response is to do nothing at all. Take safety drills seriously and always report safety concerns. official station to the Buccaneer Nation. Today's Thursday, August 27th, 2020. Our trivia winner is... No one. Who knew the Golf Junior High School opened on September 7th, 1971. It was originally on Ridge Road and moved to our current location in 1977. And here's our trivia question of the day. What are IB learner profiles? Teachers and my school online students, please send your class answer to Miss Conversat at a c o n v e r s at pasco.k12.fl.us. Here's the question one more time: What are IB learner profiles? Hint: There are ten of them. There will no longer be a share bin in the cafeteria. There will be a donation bin that the students can donate anything that is packaged, milk, juice, and any food item that is packaged in a bag. 2021 drum, drumline auditions are open to any returning band two and three student with experience playing percussion. If you are interested in auditioning, please talk to Mr. McGowan. And now for our picture of the day. Look at all the staff members taking part in Average co College Shirt Day. If you want a picture of your pet or a selfie or a photo of something exciting at school to be on the morning news, then please send it to ACON. B E R S at pasco.k12.fl.us. There are a limited supply of the 2019 2020 yearbooks on sale for $25. Exact change or pay your student account until 3 p.m. on Friday, August 28th. See Dr. T in room 19104. And now for a brief message from Avid. Hey, what college are you going to? I'm going to USF Bulls. Well, I'm going to UF Gators. What, what college, college are you going to? Students and staff, make sure to participate every Wednesday and wear your college swag. Students, remember to wear your masks all day, every day. Use hand sanitizer or wash for 20 seconds often. You can be a health hero.
I'm Lily, and this has been BN News. Remember our shared values, be respectful, be responsible, and be a problem solver. And most important of all, be a Buccaneer. Dream it, own it, live it. Have a great day, Buccaneer Nation.